Hi, I'm Melissa with Teamings, and today we'll be reviewing how to use breakout rooms in Adobe Connect. Specifically, we'll be looking at how you might use them if you want to facilitate two separate collaboration sessions during a team meeting. Here, we have my Adobe Connect lobby. I've already set up several layouts. We'll start by creating a breakout room template, which is just another layout. If you start the breakout while on this layout, all of your breakout rooms will look exactly like that. So I'm going to add a layout by clicking on this plus button. I'm going to start with a blank layout. Now I'm going to add some pods to my breakout room template. By adding a new share, I can add a new whiteboard. When you start the session, there'll be a unique whiteboard in each room. Here I'm adding a chat pod. Next I'm going to add an attendee pod. You'll definitely want the attendee pod visible in the breakout session. Some people like to keep their attendee list in the presenter only area, which is fine, but during a breakout session, everyone is converted into presenters, so the presenter only area is disabled, and then you won't have control over your attendees, or you'll have to search for your attendees pod in the middle of the session. Now I'm gonna add a timer pod. I'm limiting the breakout session to 10 minutes, and I want my meeting attendees to be aware of the time they have. For now, just ignore these participants You'll be setting this up before the meeting, so this would be empty for you. To access the breakout room menu, click on the middle button here. To create breakout rooms, click on the plus button. You can create up to 20 breakout rooms in Adobe Connect, but I'm just going to make two. Now I'm going to start the breakout session so that I can go into individual rooms and make some changes. I'm going to drag my name down to the breakout room name to enter the room. Now each room is a duplicate of the template I created, but for my purposes, I need them to be a little bit different. As you can see, this chat feature is only for breakout room one. I want my team to be able to communicate back and forth if they need to while in separate breakout sessions. This chat five is just a general chat box. It's not dependent on the breakout rooms. Yours might be chat 2, or you can even create a new chat pod. The important thing here is that the pod says everyone, and not breakout room 1. I'll go into room 2 and do the same thing. In this room, I'm going to have the team work on something that requires a lot of note taking. So, I want to add a notes pod as well. Now, I click end breakout sessions. Here we are back in my lobby layout. Let's pretend the meeting just started. While everyone's settling in, I'm going to assign the participants to their breakout rooms so that when it's time to start, we're all ready to go. I click on the center breakout room button, and then I can drag their names directly into the room that I want them in. I can also hover on their name and select a room, or if you click, hold shift and click again, you can select multiple people to move into a room. Holding control or command works too if you want to skip through the list to select all your participants for breakout one and then select all your participants for breakout two. Alternatively, you can click this arrow button to randomly distribute the participants throughout the rooms. It's pretty helpful for trainers with large classes. So now we go through the meeting and then when we reach my breakout room template, I click the breakout room button and start breakouts. I can broadcast a message to everyone by clicking here. I'm going to tell them to start their timers and remind them that they have 10 minutes. Here's what it looks like for one of our participants, Caitlin. Then the group can get started on their project. Maybe they're brainstorming some ways to get free publicity for their upcoming event. They can use this whiteboard to draw or type out their ideas. If they have questions for the people in the other group, they just type them in this chat box. Let's visit breakout room 2. I just drag my name. Here you can see Caitlin's message. Jessie can answer her back. Doug and Jessie can use the notes and whiteboard to work on their project. Let's just say they're finalizing the budget for the event. Then when you want to send another broadcast to every room, you can just click on this yellow icon. It looks like this. When we're done, I just click End Breakouts. 
Now we're all back in the main meeting room on the breakout room template. Let's just say that Doug and Jesse want to present their discussion to the entire team. I want to pull in the whiteboard and the note pods from the breakout room. There's the notes. And here's the whiteboard. You can add to either of these pods, then save, print, or email them to the team. And that's how you use breakout rooms in Adobe Connect to have a team meeting with multiple collaborations. For meeting tips, training tips, and more, visit our blog at teamings.com and sign up for our newsletter, Teaming Edge.